Hi guys, just very quickly, um, that quick question I gave you on the uh, toga switches and the auto throttle disconnect. There you go. They're designed for each pilot. So if I was a co-pilot coming in, I'd be flying like this with my thumb on there. At any point, if I wanted to disconnect the auto throttle, so if I'm flying, I'd hit this like that. That would disconnect the auto throttle and I'd have manual thrust then. I could, I'd be moving them automatically. During the takeoff roll, the captain has his hand on the thrust lever, so sitting in the right seat, he has his hands like that. I'll just go the, in the left seat, rather. I'll just go the left seat, I'll show you. So in the left seat, the captain would have his hands like that during the takeoff. And when, for some reason, you decide to reject the takeoff, you close the thrust levers, and as they come back and hit the stop, you hit that switch. That will disconnect the thrust levers from going forward because you want to stop. Now the toga switches are here, these two here. Those are the toga switches. I'll just light it up a bit better. Okay, so these two switches here, see that, that one and that one, those are the toga switches. They immediately apply the thrust and take off like that or in a go around. The ones in the front, these are the reverse thrust levers. You pull those up like that to select reverse thrust. They come up, they come all the way up. And when you cancel reverse thrust, you push them all the way forward. This here is a speed brake. And this here is a flap lever. Okay, so thrust levers, auto throttle disconnect there for the captain. The FO is the other side, like that. And that's it, that's those switches.